thank you for coming to our to our conference and thank you. Yes, and thank you for sharing your ideas with us. First, can you introduce yourself to us briefly? Okay, my name is Zhang Lin. I worked for the University of Posen Telecommunications. Okay, actually, I got my bachelor and PhD degree there, and after four years for overseas study, I went back and worked as a teacher and then now a professor of, of UPT. Okay, that's um, all. In this, uh, in this discussion, um, can you tell us the, the most impressive speaker or the most impressive speech uh, for you? Can you tell us? Okay. So, first of all, I would like to thank the organizer of this conference. Yeah, I was invited several months ago to be the moderator of this panel discussion. And uh, since then, so the conference, of, conference organizer and I worked uh, very closely to invite the panelists for this panel discussion. And you may, you may know that we have changed several panelists before this really happened. And uh, for this, one hour we have finally we got we are lucky to invite five panelists to have their opinion about this challenge. Okay, the challenge and, and opportunities for this big data science and social computing. Yeah, social computing. Some of them mentioned the, the opportunities okay, especially for the for some kind of industry, especially for the health and for some social media. They are all quite impressive and I guess this kind of contribution to the future information and communication technologies. We do not work solely for the for the pure communication. Now we can really help to other industries for the people for the human's health something like such. Yes. That's all. Um, another question. Um, can you share your ideas about um, uh, developments in uh, big data, uh, big data and social computing developments in the maybe next five years. Okay, actually, we uh, so to me, I am also a newcomer for this field. I guess most of the students and even the professors are all the newcomer to this side to this research field. Yeah, actually, most of our research or education background does not teach us much. Yeah, what is the big data? What is the social computing? Something, yeah, something like that. So it's very difficult to imagine so what will be happen, okay, what will happen five years later. And I guess that in so five years later, maybe we will have more powerful smartphones. We still have the high speed wireless and mobile communication networks, and we have more powerful cloud computing or. Com so for computing features, all this will help to, to us to process the big data. And, uh, and to the final end, we can, we can modulate or we can process the hard or difficult problem we now think. But still, five years later, we, can, we cannot imagine what we will meet or we will have a big problem there, say for, them, for the health. Now we can, we can have the very fluent the voice communication or the data communication. But let's imagine that if we all try to use the video and we all have the machine to machine communications five years later, then the, the computer, the computing infrastructure or the communication infrastructure need to be changed or need to be redesigned. Yeah. So that's what we UPT guys we well, think that is quite important. Yeah, we, we may need to provide some kind of infrastructure, the basic infrastructure for this big data and for this future computing. Thank you. And I think one day we can uh, use this data we collected uh, to adjust many practical issues. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you.